You can really be scared to put the power in the students' hands. Um, you know, that's not traditionally, especially at a middle school, like where kids are just crazy. We, all, we know kids, middle school kids are crazy. And so asking them to, you know, basically develop everything that we're going to learn in the unit is unthinkable at some level, right? The, like the, um, the magnetic field that the kids are starting to draw and understand, like I didn't see that till I was in college. And to think that, you know, middle school kids are going to be able to do that, I just, but, you know, that when I first saw that, I'm like, yeah, right, that'd be nice if they could come up with that and, and think about that. But they really did. Like, they, they really did develop everything through this unit. And that's powerful. And that, I think, well, hope, hope, the hope is that it's not just the open side units themselves that are going to be taught this way, but that these lessons, these practices can be applied towards every lesson you know, towards every unit, you know, maybe teach something a little bit different um, next time you go and teach, you know, unit X, Y, Z, um, where it is relying more on the students, where it's not verified by the right answer at the end of, at the, end of the class. And I think, you know, the, the, the ways that I've seen certain students just change and their eyes light up in a way that they don't during a more traditional science unit, it's, 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 it's so powerful. Um, and you know, like this is this is how kids develop a love of science. Like during the speaker unit, we were like, go, we were like going over how the speaker worked, and yeah, we were going over how the speaker worked itself, and we were we weren't really like guided by the teacher. We made like our own path, so it was more it was more difficult. But it's not like we we're just reading off a piece of paper. And I think we learned more from it. I feel like it's. It's better because like it's in a higher level of science. Where we're the scientists. We have to figure out stuff. My class what my class did in this unit that I would like to see in other like just classes in general is um working together. Um we a little work together a little bit. <laughs> um and basically how like the students did lead the class a lot. I I would like to see the kids and students leading the class a lot more than they usually do. And why do you like that, like leading the class? I like leading why the class. Why is it good for all subjects? It's, it's good because it gives the students like the basic skill of uh, leadership and um, independence.